I guess one of the biggest policy challenge uh, from the point of view of a large European bank is that uh, there is a growing divergence in trend between the regulatory agenda in the US and the regulatory agenda in the European Union. Uh, at a time where the US is actually turning the page of the post-crisis regulatory agenda, uh, Europe still is imposing on banks uh, two more uh, trains, I would say, of regulatory enforcement. One is the so-called risk reduction package, uh, and the second one is the will be the implementation of Basel IV. Um, so this means that uh, for quite a couple of years, uh, we will still be in a bank tightening mode, as opposed to um, allowing banks to finance the recovery in Europe. And this is a very big challenge. This will require the CMU to accelerate, uh, accelerate in all areas, whether it is corporate bonds development, including SME access to the corporate bond market, but also more importantly, securitization, as this is the main gap between uh, the financing of the US economy and the financing of the EU economy. So we very much believe that uh, the development of securitization is an absolute must in Europe in order to make room in the bank's balance sheets facing those uh, regulatory challenges and um, develop an asset class for investors to invest in high quality assets such as home loans in Europe. I believe the political challenge uh, is um, associated to the uh, upcoming European elections. Um, there is a clear issue which is uh, which Europe are we going to be in by the end of this year as people across the Union will prepare their votes uh, for the parliamentary elections in May 2019. Um, if Europe hasn't been able to demonstrate its capacity to protect and not just over-regulate, uh, chances are that the populistic uh, movements are going to dominate the vote. And actually, in my country, as much as uh, we uh, have uh, a new president which has been elected on the basis of a very pro-European uh, stance, uh, we still are facing this risk, uh, clearly, if uh, France, together with Germany and other countries in Europe, cannot deliver a better Europe by the end of this year. So the agenda is very, very tight.